I forgot to add this to my last video, but there you can see it's drawing. The focus is out because I'm using my camera on my phone. But it's drawing about one milliamp. I got a 3055 power transistor with a 100 ohm 10 watt resistor coming from the signal, which is coming from my Arduino. The Arduino is powered from this socket right here. The leads come over from the source battery. The source battery is also charging or going through the transistor there to the coil. You see my oscope's hooked up across the coil. It's got my battery unplugged up. You can see it's absorbing the charge right now. Desulfating the battery and absorbing the charge. Here is the oscope spikes. You can see it's negative 12 volts is the is the spike or the uh, the power pulse and then the negative spikes after the pulse which is the back EMF which I'm harvesting to shove into the battery it's not absorbing all of it you can see that by disconnecting the battery positive you see that the battery drops back down to 7 volts but the spikes jump up I'll plug this in while looking at the oscope see the spikes drop down back to about 24 volts Let's see if I can get this steady on it had too much coffee this morning voltage max says 24 volts and the voltage minimum is negative 12 because I have it hooked up backwards my oscope but this is a solid state Bedini circuit running I think the only disadvantage to this is that it does not self adjust to the speed or the impedance of the battery. I do have a potentiometer to where I can adjust the pulse width modulation to the transistor to change the speed of it. I'll do that a little bit so I can show you. Still just drawing about one milliamp of current from the source battery. And it's charging pretty well. Or absorbing the power a little. Could desulfate my battery.